Okay, I'm um, just going to go over putting rollover buttons in in Composer, which is not as easy as you might think and is certainly not as easy as in earlier versions of Dreamweaver. But we're going to make a go of it. You can see I've already started making a web page here, um, Spielberg web page. Um, and if you look, I've put a banner in. And I'm going to draw your attention to over here. And you'll see I've set this page up. And you'll see I've got a folder that's called navbar buttons. And if I open that up, you'll see in here I've got a load of buttons that I've made. They're all just JPEG images. Okay, so you can see they're all JPEGs. And if I just right click on one of them and open it up so you can see it, you can see that the ones that are called down, so C3K, close encounters of the third kind down. Is blue and the one that's called up is white and that's the same for all of them so ET down is blue ET up is white so I've just made a made two I'd almost identical buttons but you can see I've just changed the color of one and what we're going to do is make composer automatically swap these when the mouse rolls over them Okay, now this is the bit where it gets tricky because you need to put a bit of code in. Okay, and I'm just going to talk through this. Um, and what we've got here is this is the code that we're going to use, or this is the basics of what we're going to use. Now, it's document, so that's going to be the same every time you do this. Every time you do this, you're going to use document. Now, the second bit here home is the name that you're going to call your button okay so that might be anything that might be um, um, contact us page it might be um, an email it could be anything so you can name that anything you like and finally this bit at the end says says look for this image Okay, so it's going to look in your project folder within um, Composer and it's going to look for that image and display that image. Now, if your image is in a folder, which ours is, you can put folder slash and the location. So, just to show you, this is the code that we're initially going to use. So, we're going to say it's a document. It's for ET, the button's going to be for the film ET, and we want it to look into the navbar buttons folder and find the ET up JPEG. Okay. Now I could type all that in if I wanted to, um, and you will do at some, some point. Um, but what I could also do, since I've got it here, is I can just copy and paste it. Okay, so right click, copy. Okay, and and if you don't fancy doing that, it's usually worth keeping a notepad um, document open with um, the bit of code in. It just makes it easy to copy and paste code. Okay, um, so back in the Spielberg site. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the ET up button into my site. Okay. Give me one second, just let me get the cursor in the right place. Can't see for looking. There we go. So I'm going to drag the ET up button onto my web page. Okay, at the moment this does nothing. So I'm going to right click on it, Image Properties. Okay, and this panel opens up here. And we're going to go for Advanced Edit. So we click on Advanced Edit. Okay, it takes us to the HTML attributes page, just make sure we're on that. And what we're going to do is we're going to set up the name of this button. So we're going to call it ET. So we're going to come in here, we're going to say its name is going to be, and I'm going to do it in capital letters, ET. Okay, now I can click OK and that'll take me back out, but I'm not finished yet, so I'm going to avoid that. I'm going to go over to JavaScript events at the top. Okay, so I'm going to go to this tab now. I'm going to click on that, and you'll see what we've got here is a looks very similar, but here we've got a load of attributes, and basically we're saying we're going to use about three of these. 
Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to start off with on mouse out. Okay, so we're going to say when the mouse is outside of the area where this graphic is, we want the graphic to look like, and we could type it in, but we've already written it. I've just copied it from that PowerPoint, but if you wanted to go through it, remember, it's always document. That's the name of the button that we just defined up here in HTML attributes. And then this, this bit here is saying, look for the picture that's in navbar buttons called ET up. Okay. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing and I'm going to go on mouse up and paste the same code in again. Okay. And then finally, I'm going to go on mouse over. So when then, so when we point the cursor, the mouse over this image, over the top of it, I'm going to paste this in, but it's, I'm just going to change this bit at the end to point to a different image. Okay, so if you remember, I've um, got an image in there also called ET Down, which is the one where, it, where the text is blue rather than white. So you can just see up here now, if, if we look up here, we're saying on mouse, if you look at these here, we're saying on mouse out, go to there, on mouse up, which is the mouse of not clicking on it, and when the mouse is over it, go to this one here. So just to zoom out, on mouse out to ET up, mouse over, I'm um, sorry, mouse, mouse out to ET up, mouse up to ET up, and only when the mouse is hovering over it does it change to ET down. So click OK. Click OK again. Nothing to report so far. So let's just go up to here and we'll just browse to preview it. Save it. And now you might find that once it starts up, you get asked about allow blocked content. Um, this is purely because we're trying to run some JavaScript on your own machine. Once this is put online, that will vanish. That's just a security thing for your machine. So you just click yes, and then you should come over here, and you can see that as the mouse rolls over, it changes color. Um, so just a few things to point out. So I'm just going to go back into Composer. Um, that makes it roll over. You obviously want it to go somewhere now. Easiest thing: right click on it, um, create link and then point that towards whichever page you want it to go to so et.html okay click ok and then you've got a working button okay if for any reason the rollover didn't work just right click on it um, go back in and um, image and link properties okay advanced edit Okay, and just go into JavaScript and just double check all of this. Okay, in particular, okay, just make sure you're using normal quotation marks on, the, on either end. Okay, um, make sure you're not put that as SCR. Okay, and just double check, spell check it, and just make sure it looks right. And it should work. So, um, cancel that, and let's have a look at it in um, Firefox. Okay, there we go.